In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, in whose eternal design family life has its firm foundation, Look with compassion on the prayers of your servants and grant that following the example of the Holy Family of your only begotten Son, in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity, we may, in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing, Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vainglory. Rather, humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also everyone for those of others. The word of the Lord. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor with things too sublime for me. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a weaned child. Like a weaned child on its mother's lap, so is my soul within me. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples and you will know the truth, says the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. He said to the host who invited him, when you hold a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or sisters or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors. 
in case they may invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you, <clears throat> will you be because of their inability to repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. In the first reading, we heard how St. Paul said to the Philippians that he is glad to know that they are doing the right things, that they are living with the message of Christ, but he says something else. Something else. If you truly love me, if you truly want to show my love, please remain in one mind. Do this, the things that you are entrusted to do, because all of us have to do different things in our families, in our works, in our lives. But if we are connected with God in the same mind, mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing, we will be a truly community. We will be a truly family. Sometimes society, families, religious communities are divided because all of them, all the members of those situations, of, of those <clears throat> communities, considered that they are doing the right things in accordance with the gospel, but each one has its own version of the gospel. We must, true, we must believe in the truth of God. We must believe in Jesus, but not in my own image of Jesus in my own image of God. The God that I must believe is the God of Jesus, not the God of my neighbor, my mother, the priest, the catechist. Of course, they show us an image of God. They show us the way that they believe and follow God. But we must have a personal encounter face to face with God. If we believe in their experience, in their teachings, we will not have the experience of God. We need our own experience. We need our own relationship, but not in accordance with my limits, with my sin, with my weakness, in accordance with the image of God. So we must ask Jesus, Lord, show me the Father as you see him. Permit me feel the love of the Father as you feel that. Permit me, permit me act in accordance with that, because the gospel is very clear. In the gospel, Jesus was invited for a, a party or to dine with someone, a Pharisee, and the advice of Jesus to him and to us is very clear. Do good things for others who can't repay you, because the Father in heaven will repay. If you invite or lend money to someone who could repay, you will obtain your uh, repayment. <laughs> but if you do with the blind, with the poor, with people who can't repay you, God will take of you. If we are reunited in one mind, in one heart, thinking one thing, but with the personal experience of God, the Lord will give us all that we need, and he will repay all the efforts that we can do for someone next to us. Sometimes we can't do something for our family members. It's not my turn to wash dishes. It's hers, so she must do. I didn't uh, left that trash, so I can't remove it. And with little sacrifices, we show to the world, to our family, if we are truly thinking, loving, believing in God, and if we have an experience of not. The big question for us is, in what, <clears throat> in what God do you believe? In the God of your grandmother, or your teacher, or the priest, or in the God of Jesus Christ? Jesus Christ, the God that he knew, that he loved, and that he, that he showed us with his life. Let us ask God the opportunity to have this truly encounter face to face. If we have an encounter with Christ, 
our life must change. We can't be the same person if we have this relationship with him. Because if not, we will be only a name mass in the books. Oh, we have a lot of baptized people. If you see the records in the office, we have thousands and thousands of people who were baptized. But if we look for truly Christians, for truly communities, for truly families that is connected with God, each member of it, each family or community or society, it's very different. So let us pray to the Lord that he permit us to discover him because he could walk in front of us, but maybe we are blind because of our mad, our sadness, our problems. Let us discover him. Let us have an encounter face to face with him. And let us ask Jesus, show me the Father as you see him. Show me the Father and permit me feel the love of, you, of the Father as you feel this love to give to my brothers and sisters. Amen. <clears throat> Please stand. The Lord is our hope and our peace. Let us turn to God with these our petitions. For the Church of God, that we keep faith with one another in our life, together as a community of faith, let us pray to the Lord. For pastors, ministers, and religious educators to proclaim through their humility and selflessness the gospel that comes only from the Lord, let us pray to the Lord. For all travelers and pilgrims that they have a safe journey, let us pray to the Lord. For all separated families, that they be brought together in love and peace, let us pray to the Lord. For all people to realize that human life from conception to natural death is a God-given right, let us pray to the Lord. For all who have died, that they may follow Jesus into the kingdom of light and peace, especially Vicente and Teresa Sanchez, let us pray to the Lord. For the needs of Nancy Pisarski and in thanksgiving of her birthday, let us pray to the Lord. In a moment of silence, ask God for the things you truly need. All-powerful God, in faith and love, in imitation of Jesus Christ, your Son, we offer your praise <coughs> and acknowledge our need. Hear our prayers in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Amen. 
we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that you may establish our families firmly in your grace and in your peace. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just. <clears throat> our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created men, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him. Through Christ our Lord, through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dufal, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, that which, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the one eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Joe, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Each one remember your departed friends or family members. And no. Vicente and Teresa Sanchez, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Francis of Assisi, Saint Rafael Guisari Valencia, Saint Anthony Marie de Claret, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
All glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Grace of the grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracefully grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a bound of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed that door are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. Bring those you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constantly the example of the holy family of your only begotten Son, so that after the trials of this world, they may share their company forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen. Have a blessed day. Bendito, bendito, bendito sea Dios. Los ángeles cantan y alaban a Dios. Los ángeles cantan y alaban a Dios. Yo creo, Jesús mío, que estás en el altar. Oculto en la hostia, te vengo a adorar. Oculto en la hostia, te vengo a adorar. Adiós. Los ángeles cantan y alaban a Dios. Los ángeles cantan y alaban a Dios. En los cielos y en la tierra sea para siempre alabado el corazón amoroso de Jesús sacramentado. En los cielos y en la tierra sea para siempre alabado el corazón amoroso de Jesús sacramentado. En los cielos y en la tierra sea para siempre alabado, el corazón amoroso de Jesús sacramentado. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your so suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Bendito, bendito, bendito sea Dios. Los ángeles cantan y alaban a Dios. Los ángeles cantan 
y alaban a Dios. Yo creo, Jesús mío, que estás en el altar, oculto en la hostia, te vengo a adorar. Oculto en la hostia, te vengo a adorar. Bendito, bendito, 